Hi guys, we are back and I am going to be talking about and doing doing an unboxing of the Magic Band Plus. So I got these back um, when they came out on Shop Disney and it's been a while. They've been in the box for quite some time and um, I'm just getting around to doing this video now. But it's been good because I have done some research on these Magic Bands because I noticed that there was a little square on the side of the box that says that it works with Alexa. And I was really curious to know how the Magic Bands work with Alexa and I'm gonna talk about that later in the video, but first I wanna do a really quick unboxing and it's gonna be super fast because there's barely anything in this box. Um, I got this one for Steve to wear. Um, this box opened and basically this is what is inside of the box you have your charger on the back and that's it that's all that comes in the box it's a magic band and a charger not much different from the non chargeable magic bands but this uh, charger it just snaps right onto the magic band. You're going to need a brick to plug this into because it doesn't have one in it. So if you're on vacation and you're gonna buy this magic band, you need to make sure that you have a USB port to plug it into and then you charge it up. And so um, this one isn't charged, but for the sake of the video, I went ahead and opened mine in advance. And this is the one that I bought for myself. It's a um, Walt Disney quoted magic band. It says to all who come to this happy place, welcome. It's really nice with all the colors on it. Um, this one is charged up. And when you press the, there's a gray button in the back, it turns it on and turns it off. So you can see that it's glowing. And um, right out of the box, if you bought it on Shop Disney, you're going to have to um, use the code in the back to activate it with your My Disney Experience account um, so that it has, it'll have your uh, tickets on it so that you can get into the parks and all the other stuff like your code for um, using it to pay for things and all the other features that come with the Magic Band as far as getting into your your room, if you're using it as your room key, um, your tickets, your payment method, all that stuff, um, you're gonna need to put the numbers into your My Disney Experience account and link it to your account. If you ordered it through Walt Disney World um, as part of your vacation, it should already be linked to your account and you shouldn't have to do anything with it. Now, this magic band I charged up and it held a charge for about three days and that's not using it at all. So it was charged for three, it, it charged, once it was fully charged, it held a charge for three days. I know that when you're using it, it's going to, it's going to use the battery faster and it's not going to have a charge for as long. Um, but I think it's still, it's still nice because even when the charge is all gone from the Magic Band, it still acts as a normal Magic Band. You can still scan for your fast, um, you can still scan for your lightning lane and scanning to get into the parks. Even if it's not charged up, you're just not gonna have the, the light features and the game features that come with the Magic Band, like the Fab 50 Statue Scavenger Hunt and the Bounty Hunters if you're in Hollywood Studios. I wanted to quickly mention that this Magic Band uh, activates the Fab 50 statues, so when you're in the parks, you approach a statue, the Magic Band is going to vibrate and it's going to blink to let you know that you're near a character statue. And once you're near the character statue, you can wave your hand in front of it, and it will shout out a greeting. So the thing that's really cool about that is 
that if you have the Play Disney, if you have the Play Disney app on your phone, um, the Play Disney app allows you to activate a Fab 50 statue quest. I haven't connected my Magic Band to my Play Disney app, but I could do that right now to see uh, how to do it, to tell you guys how to do it. But basically, this is going to bring the characters to life. So when you go into the Magic Kingdom or into Hollywood Studios or anywhere that they have a Fab 50 statue and you wave your hand in front of it, it's gonna activate and it's gonna trigger uh, it's gonna trigger an activation on your phone. And so when you meet Mickey, for example, it's going to come up on here that you are near Mickey and you're gonna hold up your phone and I guess touch uh, something and then Mickey is going to come alive on your phone screen. So you'll see a little animation of Mickey and it ha it's, it's uh, available for all 50 of the statues and then after you uh, you earn rewards for different characters that you've met, all digital, but you can earn different rewards and different things like that. And it's super cool and there's a little story to the Fab 50 quest. It says, help Tinkerbell spread pixie dust for the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. Using your Magic Band Plus, locate golden character sculptures in Magic Kingdom Park, Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park and collect the characters. And so the story is that Tinkerbell sprinkled pixie dust on your magic band. And that is why it vibrates when you get near a character and blinks. So your magic band is pixie dusted, which I think is pretty cute. And um, so let's see what we have to do to um, connect a magic band. So I'm actually going to do this through my Disney experience. Uh, I'm going to go to magic bands and more. So when you go to magic bands and more on my Disney experience, if you see where it says um, magic band plus and set up, that's what you hit. Now it wants me to open the scanner to scan the band. Okay, so I just scanned it just now. I'm holding it, I was holding it just like this. And there it is, it showed up on my, um, on my app. And I'm gonna choose a person that I want to assign it to, which is gonna be me. And it wants me to allow Bluetooth, which I'm gonna say yes. And so the Bluetooth is enabled. Okay, so now it wants me to pair the Magic Band with my Disney Experience app. So it wants me to find the little um, gray button and hold it for a few seconds. My band just vibrated and I'm gonna release. And it's pairing now. And blinking. So we have pairing and blinking. <laughs> and it's complete. So I successfully paired my Magic Band. It didn't take that long and it needs to be fully charged in order to uh, complete a software update. So you're gonna wanna be mindful of that. And I'm gonna have to update the Magic Band, so let's see. So now that I have paired my Magic Band with my Disney Experience app, when I go into the Fab 50 Quest, it is already seen that I have a Magic Band associated with this account. So if I want, I can start the quest. It says, spread pixie dust with your Magic Band Plus as it guides you across four theme parks in search of 36 golden sculptures featuring a total of 50 characters. Okay. Uh, location clue. So when you're near one of the golden sculptures, your Magic Band Plus will vibrate and its lights will spin and glow white. Wave your band, your Magic Band, a few times from side to side until it vibrates and turns multiple colors, letting you know you've collected the character. So when you're waving, it's actually collecting it into the Play Disney app to, to say that, hey, I've seen this character and I've collected it. 
It's gonna unlock augmented reality fun of open magical doorways into augmented reality worlds with Disney Play friends. Enjoy them from home or in the parks. So I think once you've collected them, you're gonna be able to see this at home and enjoy the little augmented reality feature from home. It says get ready for a little pixie dust and now it says Tinkerbell will spread a little pixie dust to help you on your way and then you're gonna pixie dust yourself. Okay. And I'll show you what it looks like on my phone. You can see. I don't know if you were able to see it. I tried to turn around. I don't know if you could see the phone, but it basically, my phone just bursted uh, some pixie dust onto the screen and my phone buzzed. And so now what I have is, um, I have this really cool um, space that shows me the different symbols for the different characters. And it tells me which park up here. Not only can you collect these little Disney statues for your app to use um, in the parks and then to enjoy at home. But if you touch the icon, so this one is a little Mickey ears hat and it says it was all started by a, and we all know that it was all started by a mouse. And it says locate sculpture to unlock Disney play friend. And you will then be prompted by your, by your magic band to that you're near um, a statue. You're gonna wave, it's gonna activate. And if you tap this, it, all says, it, it also says, the first words ever said by this inspirer of all the Disney magic were hot dogs. And so it's giving you a little fun fact. It's a little Disney fun fact. And you have the circus stars, which is Dumbo. And it says, these pals of vastly different sizes are in fine feather when the big one flaps his ears and flies and that's just a little clue as to who you're looking for so obviously we know that it's going to be dumbo um this is polka dot diva so we know that's probably Minnie mouse this sweetheart with a heart of gold named her pet mouse sweetie and i think that this is so much fun i think that this for me as a huge disney fan and um, a mom of younger kids I think this is a really great way to just kind of spend a day in the park. I wish I lived closer to the parks because I would go and just do this all day. I would literally spend an entire day not doing any rides, just locating the statues, reading the fun facts. I mean, this is right up my alley. This is something that I really love and really enjoy. And I think a lot of people would. I really haven't heard anybody talking about this Play Disney app. Um, I actually learned about it not the app, the, the Play Disney game, um, the scavenger hunt. I didn't know there was an actual scavenger hunt on the Play Disney app is what I'm trying to say. But um, the only reason I found out about that was because I was looking for this, why, why is this uh, working with Alexa, you know? So, um, so yeah, so I thought it would be really nice to share it with you guys because I know that a lot of people um, were kind of like, it just lights up and it makes characters Talk, you know big deal but when you have this and you can collect them and you earn rewards throughout I think that that's super fun I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna actually be inserting it into this video so you probably have already seen some of the features um, that I'm talking about let's talk about this little box that says works with Alexa now how does this work with Alexa well there is Disney is going to be releasing sometime this year. I, it may have gotten pushed back because it's already uh, October, but it was supposed to be in 2022. They were supposed to be releasing something called Hey Disney. And Hey Disney is a feature that will be compatible with certain, um, certain Amazon Echo products. And what it is, is it's going, what Disney plans to do is they plan to put some of these Alexas in select hotel rooms across the world, Walt Disney World Resort. And it is going to be a guide for you to say like, you need to know what time the bus comes. Hey, hey Disney, what time does the next bus go to Magic Kingdom? Or hey Disney, 
what time does the park open today? Or, hey Disney, where can I get, you know, whatever. Um, it's going to be a feature in some resorts. However, you are also going to be able to buy this feature for compatible, uh, for compatible Amazon Echo devices in your own home. And so what it is, is it's going to allow you to have a device that's, it's going to enhance your um, Alexa device at home by saying, hey Disney, tell me a joke about Star Wars, and it's gonna tell you a Star Wars joke, and it's gonna be told from R2-D2's voice, or um, another Star Wars character's voice. However, they have a certain amount of characters' voices uploaded onto the, um, the, the feature, and you can get Mickey Mouse to talk to you, Minnie Mouse, um, you can have them tell you jokes. It's going to have music, um, that is creates like an, an, an ambiance or an environment for your home. So if you want to have like a Magic Kingdom environment, it has playlists. You can do all sorts of things. And I don't know the extent of what is going to be on it. I do know that it sounds pretty fun, especially for very big Disney fans or somebody that has small kids that like to talk to Alexa. I know that. Um, when my kids were younger, they used to like to ask Alexa to tell them a joke. Um, they liked to ask Alexa, what does the fox say? And it was just something fun um, in their day to, to do. So this is going to be really neat, I think, especially when you ask to, to have a joke from R2-D2 and R2-D2 tells you a joke. Um, or a message, it'll say incoming message and it'll be from one of your Disney friends. And so I think that that's really cute. Um, now, but what does that have to do with the Magic Band? Well, apparently at some point, the Magic Band is going to pair with the Echo devices to enhance that experience even further. So you're gonna be walking around your house, I'm guessing, wearing these Magic Bands and interacting with your Amazon Echo devices in some way. And um, they haven't, they're going to release more details about how these Magic Bands are going to react with Alexa. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. So um, I'm really looking forward to all the, all the special things that they're gonna be able to do with these Magic Bands because um, if you didn't know in the previous Magic Bands, you can actually take your phone and just, you can pair it to your My Disney Experience app and you can scan your Magic Bands and the My Disney Experience app will just pop up on your phone so you don't have to unlock your phone, you don't have to go in and touch and find the app, you can just touch your band and it'll open up the app. And I, I thought that was super cool. You can also, um, I'm sure that you can still do it with this one, um, because this is a more advanced Magic Band, but with my other Magic Band, I can actually put a playlist um, with my iTunes library. I can create a playlist, link it to my Magic Band, and then every time I, I use my phone to scan my band, it'll start playing, it'll activate on my phone to start playing that playlist. So I thought that that was really fun and just super cool. It, it just brings the magic home and with being a person that's very Disney driven, I really like to have all these just little magic features at home because that's, it's like bringing a little piece of Disney into your life when you can't be at the parks or you can't be on property or whatever and it just creates like a really fun environment for you at home. So that's going to be the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was informative and um, maybe provided you with a little information that you didn't know about yet or didn't know about at all. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of my Disney Driven World and I will see you next time.